that I love. So we're gonna use white cheese. And the white cheese, if you're gonna process this mix, you can just crumble it. If you're gonna make it by hand, you go with a fine grater and grate all that cheese. Add your tapioca or cassava flour, some corn masa flour, sugar, salt, and a large egg. If you don't have a large egg, add a couple of tablespoonfuls of oil. Process this for about two minutes. You're gonna have a ball forming and you're ready to go. This is all there is to do. If you're doing them by hand, same thing. Put them in a bowl, mix with your hand, then it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Your perfect masa is something like this. You see, it doesn't really stick to your hand, but once you touch it and pass it through your fingers, it's soft and you don't have any cheese crumbs there. You just feel it smooth and silky. Place it on top of your counter. The easiest way is just putting on top of some parchment papers and pushing to make a log. If you have a ruler or a piece of wood or something long, it works amazing. Cut each quarter into four and then roll each one like you were just playing with Play-Doh. Roll them, tie them at the end, and you're done. That's it. We are gonna bake them on a greased baking pan and you can also place them on parchment paper. Check out how easy and simple it is. They are delicious. They are naturally gluten-free and you can make them at any time. My favorite time to eat them is halfway through the morning, halfway through the afternoon. Bake them at 375 for 15 minutes and you're done. Beautiful pan de bonos from the streets of Colombia and enjoy this amazing Colombian food. Every time you make them, you're gonna love them. It's a beautiful bite. Chef Pachi.